So far, we've discussed general information about E. coli, but now let's move on to discuss the four strains of E. coli that you need to be familiar with for step one. First, let's begin with enterohemorrhagic E. coli, or EHEC, EHEC. This is definitely the highest yield of the four, so pay close attention here. You can see that we've added another character to the scene who appears to be completely covered in blood and coal. The coal represents E. coli, and the blood represents hemorrhagic. So together, this should make you think of enterohemorrhagic E. coli. The pool of blood around this guy should help you remember that this strain of E. coli causes bloody diarrhea. Now notice that we've shown a news reporter girl right next to the pool of blood. As you can see, she's holding a microphone that's shaped like the number one. This is here to help you remember that EHEC is the most common serotype of E. coli in the United States. Now you can see that we've shown a cup of sorbet next to the pool of blood that is getting smashed by a falling rock. Sorbet sounds like sorbitol, and the fact that the sorbet is getting destroyed should help you remember that EHEC is unique because, unlike other E. coli strains, it does not ferment sorbitol. In order to compliment the girl with the microphone, we've added a guy who appears to be recording her with a camera. So, apparently they're a news crew that has come to capture the devastating tragedy. Let's zoom up on this camera guy so you can see the details better. Notice that he's recording while simultaneously eating a hamburger with prominent lettuce seen coming out of the bun. The hamburger and the green leafy lettuce is here to help you remember that EHEC is often transmitted via undercooked meat and raw leafy vegetables. 